a man of God anointed in that assembly. Yes, amen. God sets me as a watchman. Yes, he does. He gave me the vision 50 years ago to come here. I came. The rest is history. Sister Angie, God brought you here today. You are here because God brought you. Amen. Your son, Chris, will find love here. Yes. On your part of it, from the word, the Spirit reveals to me that in your life, you have been, at times, taken advantage of. And then, at times, people have abused their friendship with you. <coughs> and your son has been hurt. And your son has felt pain. Am I right in that? Am I telling you the truth? The Lord is showing me this. Until you have withdrawn yourself, and Chris has withdrawn himself, I want to tell you today, you come to a healing place where the arms of love will reach out for you and surround you. And Chris will find the love of God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. God sets a watchman in the city. And watchman is the man of God. The Bible said, it is vain then for you to rise up early, to sit up late, <laughs> eat the bread of sorrows, for in this place where the watchman is, in this place, where the watchman is. The Lord is building the city, that's the church. Yes. And the watchman is there to watch. So it's vain then for you to be at unrest. That's it. No matter what happens, what's taking place in your mortal life, or theirs, or yours, or mine, you're to know that God has watchmen, he's building the house, he's called you. Then, he said, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. And notice verse 3. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. He is not talking. The Bible didn't suddenly jump from building a city to a woman bearing children. No, sir. These children are the inhabitants of this city. Yes. They are the children of God. Yes. That's the church. Children, children of God, are a heritage. They belong to God. They are a heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the mother's womb, the church, is her reward. What she brings forth. What she brings forth is her reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. When children are born in a church, they are mighty. When I'm talking about converts, people who are called to Christ, who come to God, their children, and they're mighty. And then happy is the man or the watchman, happy is the man or the watchman that hath his quiver. That's his life-giving word. That's his life-giving word has his quiver full of them. Yes, amen. He's a seed producing watchman. That woman is a fruit bearing woman. Yes. But they shall speak with the enemies. Or another word there is confront. Yes. Did you know you can't confront an enemy Come on. until you find the watchman and a city? That's right, brother. And you get there where you're safe? Yes, sir. Because you are one lone pilgrim right. trying to deal with a world Amen. that is in sin and iniquity. Yes. And you will not win the battle. But if you become part of the fruit of the reward and be part of that which comes from the quiver of a man of God, that's his life-producing word. word. That's his quiver. Yes, sir. 
life-producing word. Yes. And he's full of children. You ever see that that way? Yes, sir. You ever look at it that way? All right, now go quickly. Isaiah 21. You have your Bibles? Oh, yeah. See, uh, go, go to Isaiah 21. And I want to, you see, the church, the church is not on, on the verge of anything but a great move of God. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Yes. I don't know how many people like Angie and Chris back here and like uh, uh, Brother Melvin, Don, Brother Don Melvin, we're so glad to see him home in Lenny. And God has sent back home here, minister of God, pastor, teacher of the word, after, after seven years. But I know this. I know God moved you from Texas, her and Margarita. I know that. God had purpose not only with your mother, but he had purpose with you. Because God's given you some good things spiritually since you've been back here in Bradenton. God has added to you, and I know that. Because God, you may not feel like I'm anything to this place right here. Yes, you are. Yes. You're part of the children Amen. that are in this quiver Amen. of the word that I'm speaking. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Lorraine, God has brought you through. No, did you know? She said Bob was not gone last night. Bob Chandler. He had, Malcolm Caldwell's not gone. He's right up there. And there's another fellow sitting in that chair where he used to sit. But that's a child of God there. Amen. And Malcolm finished out his reward. Amen. And Malcolm is for the Lord right now. Amen. And he finished his reward. But you're here yes. because God chose you. Yes. And God chose you. Yes. And if God chose you, have no say about it. That's if right. God chose you, have no say about it. That's right. If God takes a man, leaves a woman, have no say about it. That's right. If God takes your wife and leaves you, have no say about it. Amen. If God takes a husband, leaves a wife. If God takes a wife, leaves a husband, have no say about it. Right. Because God made choice. Yes, I said God made choice. Yes, sir. And then Isaiah 21, verse 5. Prepare the table. Watch in the watchtower. Eat and drink. Arise, you princes, and on the shield. The shield is the word of God. That's our breastplate of faith. For thus saith the Lord, uh, for, for, for thus hath the Lord said unto me, Isaiah was a prophet, go set a watchman. Let him declare what he said. A city is not complete without a watchman. A watchman has to be in the city. A watchman has to be on the tower wall. Yes, sir. Yes. Brother Marlowe, you're getting some years on you. You're walking pretty good, am I not? <laughs> Do I walk pretty good? Yeah. Well, I can really put it on. You know. Still seeing pretty good. Read this without my glasses. But, but when the Lord calls, am I worried about God's house being no. without a watchman? No. No. Because all around me, there's watchmen. Watchmen. They're right here. They're right in place. You saints wouldn't have to have a panic alarm. You wouldn't have to have a. If the telephone rang, Brother Marlowe's been called home to glory. None of you have to have a panic alarm and say, well, I wonder where I'll go now. I wonder what I'll do now. I wonder if I can go back to the tabernacle. I wonder if I can stay with my church. Why not? That's right, amen. Because there's watchmen here. Yes, that's right. Because in my 50 years of building for Christ, I didn't neglect to train, equip, men around me. Did you get that, what I said? Amen. I got 50 it. years I've been here, I didn't neglect to teach men around me, they know what I know. They'll stand as I stand. They'll be as I am, yes, steadfast, unmovable, yes, yes. always abound yes, in the work of the Lord. Amen. Yes. Am I getting through? Am I getting right through here? Yes, Amen. So don't take me buttons, please. Because God's work is God's work. Yes. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of that. Praise the name of the Lord. See, watchmen. I go down from the sixth verse. And, and let's, let's go down. Am I still, have, have I still got to you? I, your stomach's not gnawing at you too much, is it, right now? I mean, I, I mean you're, you're, 
if, 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 if so, uh, say, in the name of Jesus, calm down. <laughs> if you're asleep, you say, in the name of Jesus, what's up? That's right. Amen. That's right. Sometimes I'll do this when I'm in worship. Wake up. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. <clears throat> you know. Go, go on down to the 11th verse of Isaiah 21. The burden of Duma. There's an outlying city. He called to me out of Seir, a mountain. Watch Watchman. What is the Watchman. What of the night? Watchman. What of the night? If you know God requires of every prophet there is on the face of the earth our prophetess, because surely the Lord God will do nothing in secret. That's right, amen. Unless he first reveals it to who? His prophet. Job what walking along? No, his prophet. Unsteady, undependable, no, walking along. No, right, no his prophet. No, his prophet. Come on. Do nothing. Come on. Yeah. That's the word. Is that the word? That's the word. That's the word. Good teaching. Praise the name of the Lord. Do nothing. Yes. As great as God is, as mighty as He is, He will not do anything until until He reveals right. to His servant the prophet. Praise God. Praise God. So the, the word said, Watchman, what of the night? What of the night? And Isaiah gave the answer. Did you know God has a watchman on the wall? Yes. Sir. Uh, you, you have to consider that watchman. You have to consider that watchman. Yes. If you don't consider that watchman, you won't know what's going on. And you may blindly go in a direction you shouldn't go. Yeah, but, but the watchman is there. And the scripture said, uh, the watchman, verse 12, the watchman said, the morning cometh, and also the night. If you will inquire, inquire ye, return, come. See how that watchman was right there. They said, what of the night? And the watchman gave them the answer. Just like that. The watchman said the morning cometh. And also the night. If you want to inquire, come on and inquire. Yes. Come on and find out. Yes. Come on. Yes. You don't need to be blind. That's it. The blind lead the blind. Right. Right. And they all fall into the ditch. Right. You've got a blind person that doesn't know where they're going. You follow that blind person. He walks off a cliff. You'll walk off a cliff. That's right. That's it. Come on. I don't follow everybody. That's right. I don't listen to everybody. That's right. Because if they'll leave me, uh, the, the old saying, to follow you, I'm not content till I know which way you went. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. How can I know where he's going? Yes. I want to know what he's going to do. Yes, declare. What he has in mind. See, because the watchman has an answer. Yes, sir. Always has had. Yes. Always will have. Amen. God's never left his church. Amen. God has never left his church right. without an answer. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. God has never left his church without an answer. Yes. Watchman, what of the night? Well, I'll tell you what of the night. Yes, we dark, isn't it? Dark time we live in, isn't it? Aren't you inquired of the watchman? Or I'm going to tell all of you. The morning is coming. Yes. The morning coming. Yes. But also the night is coming right after the morning. Yes. Come on. Yes. Oh, did you get that? Did you get that? Right. Oh, let me get over here where everybody can. I'm over there. Let me get back here. I can tell you I'm a watchman. We're going to have unprecedented revival. We're going to have unprecedented healings. We're going to have unprecedented joy. We're going to have unprecedented great moves of God Amen. in the church. Amen. I'm going to get on something in a minute. Stay with me for about 10 more minutes. We are going to be blessed and prosper. Yes. And God is going to revive the economy. God is going to revive just for the saints of God. Amen. The saints of God are going to get jobs. Yes. The saints of God are going to save money. The saints of God are going to be looked after. We're going to have prosperity like we never saw it. Yes. For a brief 
seven and a half years. And after that, that's the warning. But I'm telling everyone in my sound today, after seven and one half years, for there is one hour ahead of us yes. prophetically. Yes. The Bible speaks of it as one hour. One hour is one twenty-fourth part of a day. Divide one twenty-fourth into three hundred and sixty days of the year, speaking prophetically, yes. and you have fifteen. One hour prophetically is fifteen years. Spoken of in Revelation 13. Revelation 17. You will be blessed if you're where the watchman is. And then, as soon as it's over with, mark your calendar. Mark it from this day. Mark it. Seven and a half years is what we have. That's it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. God does nothing unless he reveals it to his servant, the prophet. Come on. You have to judge whether I'm a prophet or not. I can't convince you, I'm not going to try it. No, sir. You have to know whether you're hearing a prophet of God. You out there in the church right now, you have to know whether you're listening to a prophet of God or whether you're just wandering down here and found one of these preachers, one of these text preachers. You know, five-point message, six-point message. You've got to know the difference in a six-point text message preacher and a, and a prophet of God. Yes, amen. We have seven and a half years. And we're going to enjoy the blessings of God because the morning now is coming. The dawning of a new time, a new day. But do the right thing. Walk with your God. Yes. Love each other. Get through your mortality. Yes. Overcome the struggles. Pray for one another. Love each other. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. And let your life be given to God. Because the night is coming. And it'll come. And after the night comes, there's going to be a judgment across America. Yes. Like America has never seen. And America will perish in the judgment of God. And one day this nation will be occupied by foreign troops and has bombed our cities and bombed our, our world we live in. Terrorists will be operating freely. God is going to give America a time of prayer and repentance. God is going to give America one hour. And that one hour will end its existence because the nation that forgets God shall be turned. That's right, amen. Are you hearing that? Yes, sir. Are you still with me? Yes, amen. Praise the name of the Lord shall be turned. Yes. Not cast, but turned. Not cast, but turned. America is turning into hell right now. Yes, it is. America is turning into hell quickly. right now, quickly. Yes. Quickly. Yes. But fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Amen. Because God has a house that he's building. Yes, yes. And Isaiah 2 and 2 said, But the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountain and exalted above the hill. And many people shall flow into it. Amen. And all nations shall flow into it. Get me that next verse, Mary Ellen. I want to get that while I'm there. Isaiah 2. And many people, and many people, I want to tell you something right now. Every one of you, I'm not going to let you go out of this place this afternoon before you pray to your God. Yes. Because I believe revival is coming to your house. Yes. And I believe that you came here to get your life changed yes. and completely go in another direction. Whether you've been here with me for 20 years or 25, whatever, you still need a change. Amen. Doesn't matter who you are, you still need a change. That's right, amen. No matter what your name is, you still need a change. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach you his ways. We will walk in his paths. Proud of Zion shall go forth the law. Amen. And the word of the Lord from Judah. What does that mean? It means that Washington will no longer be the capital of the world. 
of the nation. Jerusalem is where you'll go to get the law. Yes, sir. Jerusalem is where you'll go to hear the king. Yes, sir. Jerusalem will be the capital city of the entire world. And it's coming up after the next hour. Yes, sir. We're that close. I can conceivably see it if God lengthened my days. I can see it. Yes, sir. A watchman is speaking. One of the morning, then cometh the night. <laughs> Brother John, go and get changed for the Baptist. Laura, if you're not changed, go and get changed because we're going to have baptismal service here shortly. And then we're, um, if there's anybody here without food to eat between services, let the usher know that they have usher know for uh, Matthew Knopp right here. And we'll have a meal for you in the dining room, uh, something for you to stack on between the services. Next service is at 6 o'clock. And uh, we want you to come and be a part because God always blesses the evening service at 6. And, um, and, and we're, we're going to have a great time. I want you to go to Matthew 24. It's very important. Very important, brethren. Remember these scriptures I'm getting at. I've got some more. Not just this, but I've got some more. In Matthew 24, uh, I want you to go to verse, um, if you will, and I think you've got time for this. Uh, I'm not going to keep you that long. I, I want you to go to verse 29. No, no, I don't. I want, pardon me. I, I want you to go um, for, to, to verse uh, 24. Pardon me. Verse 24, Matthew 24. All right, let's go quickly. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. Somebody said, Brother Marlow, aren't you alarmed at people that are false prophets? No, I'm not. The Bible said they would be. I could be one. I could be a false prophet if the Holy Ghost didn't make me a true prophet. I could be a false prophet if God didn't reveal to you I am a false prophet. And you wouldn't know it unless God revealed it to you. But if you pray and God tells you whether I am or not, take that from God and go with God. Yes. There shall arise false prophets. False and shall show great signs and wonder. Insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect, the bride of Christ. The very elect. Not the elect. You're the elect of God, but you're not the very elect until you make the bride of Christ. I'm not the very elect. I am the elect. But I'm working toward to be the very elect. Because I believe I can be the very elect. And the very elect of God will not be deceived. Foolish virgins will be deceived. They're part of the elect. But the very elect will not be deceived. See? See what say, oh I, I'm not I'm not going to church there because God are you sure God showed you that? Because you can be deceived. So the very elect would not be deceived. And then the scripture said, Behold, I have told you before, wherefore if they shall say unto you, Behold, he's in the desert, desert's a dry place, place where it's open and dry. He isn't there. Behold, he's in the secret chambers. Secret chambers is where they have no counsel. A church run by dictatorial power. No elders. No trustees. No men of God to oversee the work. No talk people that can check and know if the minister is telling the truth or a lie. That is a secret chamber. Where there's no counsel, the people fall. But in a, they perish, but in a multitude of they they're safety. So when you find a place where only one man has the power, only one man can say, only one man has the total power, any religion where that is so, that is a false religion. Amen. Where the word of that man is infallible, that man alone has power above all other people, that man alone is right and everybody else is wrong, that that is a secret chamber. Oh, then let's magnify it to 16 men around a table. 
That's still a secret tenet. Amen, brother. A magnified to 25 men that room without counsel. That's still a secret tenet. It has to be open where you can, Brother Dean, question me. You're not going to take my authority by, if I'm right, I'll keep my authority, I'll keep my spirit, and you'll grow and I'll grow and we'll grow together. You can question me. I'm not just right because I say I'm right. In a multitude of counselors, there's safety. A church like that is not a secret chamber. Man go up and preach a text message, give you five points, close it out, no question. That is a secret chamber. He isn't there. For the lightning, here, here's a scripture, I want you to get this, please. Hold with me and get this. For as the lightning, whoo, lightning, whoo, lightning, what force? For as the lightning, cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. This is a very pivotal scripture. The lightning is the power of God. Lightning in the scriptures is the power of God. God's power. God's power started in the upper room in Jerusalem in the east. But God's power is not going to, it, it didn't stay in the east. When Christ comes again, the coming of the Son of Man shall be, he's not coming back. He's not coming back anywhere but to the east, but when he comes again, he will have shined the glory and the power that came out of the east will have shined into the west. And the west is the Gentiles. And from the Gentiles, he will gather a bride, the bride of Christ. For whithersoever the carcass is, the body is, there will the eagles Somebody's tried to make that vultures. That isn't vultures. That's eagles. Eagles fly higher than vultures. Eagles swoop down on living things. Eagles see ministers. A man of God is an eagle. He's a watchman. That's what he is. And the scripture said, then immediately after, and this is, the, this is what I want you to get above all. If you didn't get some of this other. Wherever then the body of Christ is, ministers, eagles, will be gathered there. The carcass, the body. And he said, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the days of tribulation that have been prior to the coming of Christ, the days of tribulation, the nations, have been convulsed in and tormented in, then the scripture said, <coughs> the sun will be darkened, judgment on the nations, the moon shall not give her light, and the stars <coughs> shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Naturally and spiritually, God's gonna turn the galaxies upside down, falling stars will blaze through the sky, the literal sun will be darkened, the moon will not give forth her light, and then let's take the spiritual part of that. Ministers are called stars of God, eagles, watchmen. Ministers are stars. They're going to fall, one after the other, and one after the other. And the powers of ministry, or the powers of heaven, will be shaken, shaken. We haven't seen a shaking yet, like we're going to see before the coming of Christ. We haven't seen a shaking. All right, now, let me get through this other. All right, now here's where we are. Everybody ready? Everybody got your mind on this? In verse 30. Verse 30 is where we are 
on March, what is this, 27th? 27th? Yes. Here's where we are. Here's where you are. And then shall appear the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, or witness, of heaven with power and great glory. All the nations are going to be mourning. The only safe place, not London, they're marching there, 200,000, yesterday against the government. The Canadian government fell two days ago. All across the world, terrorists. America. Protesters from Wisconsin down. Laws being turned upside down. <coughs> Teachers not knowing what their future is. Tribes of the earth are going to mourn. And they're going to mourn more and more. They're going to mourn more and more. You know the only people that will be rejoicing will be the people that are safe in the haven of rest. Yes. In the arms of Jesus, yes. in the body of Christ, yes. for where the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. There will be a watchman on the night. And when the nations are in calamity, and you're in the streets burning, including America, and the, uh, the, the economy is upside down, the church is going to prosper and branch out. And the branch of the Lord, Isaiah 4, will be glorious in that day. In that day, because the tribes of the earth are mourning, but while the mourning is going on, he's going to send his angels, his messengers, his watchmen, his eagles, and gather together all of the elect, including Israel. And when that's said, He'll say, calamity come, judgment come, but God's people will be the mountain of the house of the Lord, right. and they shall be standing, rejoicing, because they're safe. The name of the Lord yeah. is a strong tower. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Finish it for me, would you? And the right, right. 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 run in, run right. in, right. right. and are safe. Right. Yes. yes. Whew. I'll say it again. And the the name of the Lord. Yes. Finish it for me. Strong. Right. Right. And they give three witnesses. The name of the Lord. stand the devil's best friend. Yes. Strong enough to stand the enemy when he comes like a flood. Strong enough to stand against the evil day. And preach Christ. And him crucify. Praise the name of the Lord. Have you enjoyed the day? Amen. Have you enjoyed the word? Yes. Have you enjoyed the word? Yes. Have you enjoyed the day? Yes. Have you got some things to think about? Got some things to pray about? Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not giving up. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going on. Look at your neighbor and say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.